Hello, today we are going to discuss about fractional part function. For any real number small x, we use the symbol small x in curly braces to denote the fractional part or decimal part of x. Okay. For example, curly braces of 3.45 is equals to 4. Uh, 0.45. That is the fractional part. Okay. So we can write that f of x equals to x in curly braces for all x belongs to R. We observe that the domain of the fractional part function is the set R and all real numbers that is all real numbers and the range is the set closed 0 to open 1. It is evident from the definition that f of x which is equals to curly braces x can be written as x minus box of x for all x belongs to R. Okay. Suppose here we have the value of x equals to 3.45. So box of x is equals to 3. Then curly braces x can be 0.45. Okay, now we try to visualize this function. So let us take the two axes and let me take another color and these are the x values 1, 2, 3. This is the origin. Here we have minus 1, minus 2 and this is the point 0. 1. Therefore, the function is look like this. Okay. So, this is the function uh, of which is called fractional part function. Okay, now we try to illustrate this with an example. Suppose f of x is equals to cos of pi square in box x plus cos of minus pi square x where box stands for the greatest integer function. Okay. Now we have four options that is f of pi by 2 is equals to minus 1. The second option is f of pi is equals to 1. The third option is f of minus pi is equals to minus 1. And the last option is f of pi by 4 is equals to 2. We need to find the correct option. Okay. So, we try to solve this problem. So, let's get started. We have f of x is equals to cos of minus pi square x plus cos of pi square x okay therefore we can write that cos of 9x plus cos of minus 10x okay and we know that 
cos of 9x and cos of minus theta is cos theta, then we write cos of 10x. Therefore, we just put the x values in this equation and try to solve the fx value. Here we get cos of 9 pi by 2 plus cos of 10 pi by 2 which is equals to 0 plus minus 1 to the power 5. Okay. So, it results in minus 1. Okay. Now, the next one is f of pi which is equals to cos of n pi plus cos of 10 pi which is equals to minus 1 to the power n plus minus 1 to the power 10 here therefore we get 0. Now the next one is cos of minus pi that is cos of minus 9 pi plus cos of minus 10 pi which results in cos of 9 pi plus cos of 10 pi that is same as the above which also results in 0 and the last one is cos of pi by 4 which results in cos 9 pi by 4 plus cos 10 pi by 4 which is equals to 1 by root 2 plus 0 is equals to 1 by root 2. Therefore, here only the option A which is correct that is f of pi by 2 is equals to minus 1. So, this is the correct option. So, A is correct. So, that is all for today. Thank you very much.